Hello my friends, today I'd like to present you an update to Nano ALS electronic lid screw controller for manual metal lace. This was the original version of it. No, this is not the one. This is a secret project that nobody knows about. Maybe because it doesn't actually exist. Let's put it away for now. This is what I'm talking about. Nano ALS H2. It has a lot of improvements compared to the original Nano ALS. It's still a single access controller, but it has a big screen, bigger buttons, it has additional functions, overall more convenient to use and more easy to install. For comparison, this is a two axis mega ELS project. It's also available on GitHub. I didn't write the code for it, just uh, did the 3D modeling and the PCB. This is also a two axis controller called Rocketronics ELS Basic. It's pretty nice, it works really well. I have a separate video for that on my channel. Let's put it away for now as well and focus on Nano ELS H2. As you can see, it's still a board that you print on GLC PCB. A touch screen, buttons, resistors, Arduino Nano and the potentiometer too. It now also has a separate on-off switch. Hopefully that would be useful. It gets assembled into a 3D printed case. Unlike the previous version of Nano ELS, there are nice connectors on the side, allowing to easily plug in and plug out all the wires, the stepper, encoder and the power. The buttons are now also bigger. The case is assembled using nylon standoffs and the lid is screwed in from the back. It's easy to connect the stepper down below, then in the middle it's the encoder and on top it's the power and you also get uh, two extra ports where you can connect something if you want to. It's a nice big and bright screen. On the right bottom of the device there is a potentiometer controlling the brightness. It's not showing very well on the camera but it's actually perfectly visible from the angle that I was looking at. You can see now I use the top right button to change the screen to show the angle of the spindle. It can also show the tachometer. You can see right now I turn up the lathe and it's showing 150 RPM. Now I turned on the ELS and it will move the motor corresponding to the spindle. On the right we have three buttons with shortcuts for different pitches. So I've set the pitch to 2 millimeters and turned on the spindle. The motor is being moved accordingly. Now it also supports negative pitches just like before. So I can cut left threads. Changing the pitch back to 2 millimeters. A new feature is something that allows you to change the step with which the carriage is moved. You can see I changed the step to tenth of a millimeter and now hundredth of a millimeter. And now I'm back to one millimeter step. Another new feature is that the carriage can be moved while the ELS is on. So I hope this will be convenient for the folks that you don't have to stop the motor anymore to move the carriage back for multiple pass operations. The code for this project is still not in a perfect shape, but it's pretty close. And overall this is way better than the previous version. It's not much more expensive, but I think it's a much better value overall. As usual, you can find all the code, 3D models and the PCB link in the description. Thanks for watching, see you next time.